No, because you're on a journey and you want to know that where you're going is where you're meant to be. Okay. Insert me here. What we're going to do, we're going to do a quick card pull, a lot of these energies and different things that are coming through. Okay. So what are we going to be experiencing? What are we being called to do going into May? Well, you're going to want to watch this rest of the video because then you're going to find out. Tapping in a little bit more to that big energy field, just kind of some more like is there one more thing that we can take with us as we're kind of embarking on this new journey? Because it definitely feels like for all of us, this is the new level of the video game. And so we're really wanting to, you know, find, find our footing in this kind of new reality. Um, so if you, if this is your first time listener, uh, just go ahead. If you're not driving, close your eyes, just say a quick prayer for yourself. Uh, especially if you're feeling that this episode is really resonating with, with you and where you're at. And again, just put those hands on your heart. So I pulled two at the same time and I pulled the security and the pleasure card security and pleasure. And oof. And I like that they're stacked, that security is on top of pleasure because here's why. Again, you're going into this thing and it's like, you are safe. That's what we've been talking about this whole episode. It is safe for you to step into this next thing. No, oh, I can't believe this is happening or oh, I should. You are safe. You are safe. You are safe. You are safe. You have been doing all of this work to strengthen your tools, to get into therapy, to strengthen your body, to set those boundaries with family members, to uh, get out of debt. You have done all of this work to create self-safety. Again, just like I said, no one is coming to save you. The idea that the answer exists outside of yourself is false. So even within this aura field, maybe you're not like a I'm really don't subscribe to like, I'm a witch, right? I mean, no shame. I love a good witch, but, um, I've been really big on protection spells recently for my physical, like aura and body, because I'm just so intuitive when I'm going out and picking up way too much from other people. And it's just draining my energy and taking away from my own enjoyment of what I'm doing. And so that's just a kind of another piece of this, of what are, is there anything else, any stone unturned, which is interesting because this is in a, um, it almost looks like it's in a cave and there's a, a fire lit and it's like under the night sky. So it's like, what else do you need to do to know that you're safe? Like, I love that there's this fire cause it's here and it's going to keep them warm, like under the night sky, but also fire represents, you know, it's like fire energy. Like I am safe. I am good. I am here. Like it is safe to move forward, but also that it's like kind of in this cave of like, what are the things that still make you feel safe? The things that create that for you. So if there are, whether it's the protection spells or again, maybe even just like the self-care things, like, did you used to love taking baths and you stopped making time for that? Like, is that a place that you can take a bath and like feel safe and kind of reinforce these things for yourself? What are those things that you need to do for yourself so that we are reinforcing this sense of self safety, that you are safe. And then secondarily is the pleasure card. It's the whole thing of what I was talking about. Yes, I can believe it. Yes, I can believe that the things that I have been making daily deposits on come true. What did we just talk about whether it was last week or the week before of Lumeria, heaven on earth. It's supposed to be good, y'all. Period. That's the whole thing. It's supposed to be good. The human experience, while it is rife with injustice and uh, frustration and classism and sexism and racism and genocide and all of these things that we are fighting the good fight to fight against, your job in order to fight that evil is to live a good fucking life. I need you to hear me say that again. You struggling because they're struggling doesn't help. I need you healthy. I need you fed. I need you fired the fuck up so that in whatever ways your gifts help stomp that out, whether that's true activism, right? Or that's supporting or that's you do small group, whatever it is in the way that you help balance that good and evil fighting against those things. I need you well. 
And even let's like, let's even bring it in. You deserve nice things. You deserve to have the thing that you've been working towards. You deserve to live well. That doesn't mean without earthly politics of chaos or, oh, you know, my oven went out or, oh, I got to move out of this apartment. They're selling my building. Like, yeah, there's going to just be shit that happens. That's just part of it, right? I've had a couple of those things recently myself and I don't like it. I don't like it, right? But that's not the whole piece. You are allowed to live well and what are the things that bring you pleasure and they're not going to be the same for everyone. So do not for another day step back from your spotlight because everybody has one. So for me, even if it's like I feel uncomfortable saying I'm a spiritual intuitive, it's like, no, you don't. You're just scared of like, well, I don't know. It's like if somebody doesn't want to see that in the spotlight, they'll move on to another one. That's all the world is. It's just a big marketplace of all of us going, here's what I do. What do you do? Do you like this thing? I like this thing. We're not all meant to like the same things. And from a spiritual lens anyway, we're all learning a different journey and something anyway in this lifetime. So it's not my job to make sure that everybody likes me. What a fool's errand. These two cards together is literally everything that we've talked about today and stack them on top of each other because the security has to come first. And now you may derive some of that pleasure through the security, but you're not going to get to this place of like this full fulfillment of this. You know, I also, the the thing that I love about this pleasure card is that there's a, it's a pathway and it, so it kind of starts where, like where we're getting on the path and it's really dark and it slowly moves through and it gets more and more green and more and more blue. And there's this deer So if you're a spirit animal person or the um, meaning of different animals, this beautiful deer, this beautiful doe is standing right there at the gates, almost like, come on in. And there's all of these flowers and it blooms and there's like this crescent moon and all these different orbs and light. And I love that this, this archway too that you're being asked to walk through is very green, but you can also tell that it's been there for a while. Meaning like, you're safe. What you have been, what you are being asked to walk up to, what you're being asked to walk through, you've done many times before and many lifetimes. What you're being asked to do is like, just walk. It's all like, it works out, my dude. Like, why do you want to keep staying at this bottom step? You're looking up and like seeing like fucking Bambi and all this like beauty up here. And you're like, I don't know if I can't walk walk. You can do it, right? Walk through that gate. It is meant to be pleasurable. It is meant to be easy, right? Our days, our day-to-days are not easy. Putting in those daily deposits is not easy. Showing up at the gym is not easy. Saving money rather than spending it is not easy. This shit is not for the faint of heart. But over time, that evolution, that pleasure, you make your way up. And that's what the evolution is all about. Cool. All right. So keep it classy, San Diego. We're working on building that security for ourselves like nobody else can. And knowing that through that security, we are safe to have a pleasurable, exciting, fulfilling life. All right. So get out there. DM me. Let me know. Share this video. All right. Engage with me. Let me know. Because I know some of you are sitting there going, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I needed to hear. And I need to hear that. I need to know that what I'm doing makes sense. All right. Otherwise, I'm just talking to voices and pulling cards by myself. All right. You know what I mean? All right. Hey, I love you. I'm so proud of you. I'm excited for what's next. All right. Love you. Mean it.